Well, a lot of speculation, isn't there, about the future of Barcelona. The front page of Sport, the Catalan newspaper, saying a cycle has ended. Uh, this is off the back of what the Porto had to say. Uh, we have lost La Liga incomprehensively from my point of view. A cycle has ended and we are working on a renewal process. It's what I believe must be done. Well, let's uh, welcome back, shall we? Gab and Jules are with us. Uh, Gab, what's going on here? Look, I think Laporta is doing the reasonable thing. I mean, how can you not say it's the it's the end of a cycle and you need a renewal process when uh, when you're more than a billion uh, in debt? I think this is what people were looking for. This is part of the platform uh, that that he ran on. Now, if we want to jump from there to the fact that uh, oh, renewal means Lionel Messi's leaving because the cycle's over, uh, no, I don't think it it means that at all. Um, Laporte has made it clear that he's going to do everything he can to persuade Messi to stay. I think that will almost definitely involve uh, a pay cut, a considerable pay cut. Um, but, you know, I think it's the right thing for Barcelona. And, and I think for Lionel Messi, too, uh, that he stay. And I think Laporta will do everything in his power to make that happen. Jules, the general consensus seems to be stay at Barcelona or go to PSG. I think that's probably the, the only other option, really. We know that Manchester City will not pursue Leo Messi this summer. Uh, this one is gone. So it's either staying, as you said, or, or going to PSG because no one else really is, can afford him and he's ready to afford him. And I think PSG, PSG will try. They will try to go for him. They will try to offer him something that pleases him, that pleases his dad and his brother who, who, looks at, who look after him, that can also fit in their kind of budget, although we know that financial fair play this summer will be a bit loosened up compared to what it was in the past, so maybe this is the right time. Probably two more years for Messi in Europe, and after that, after the 2022 World Cup, probably or at the end of that season, he could go to MLS or, or, or back to Argentina. So is it worth taking the, the risk? Of course it is. And will PSG try? I think they will, for sure. But it looks very much like either you stay and you finish your career really at Barcelona, where your family is very happy, where you've been happy for so long, or you're not happy anymore and you don't think that team is competitive enough and you think the, the whole rebuilding process is too much and that you're not going to win anything for the next two years. And then you, you, you go to Paris where you feel that you've got more chances to win things. Gab, let's just put Messi to one side. You talk about renewal, but there's a lot of players here that are still under contract, that if you're looking to change things in a, from Barcelona perspective, it's not exactly you could sell many of these assets for anything that's going to really be a game changer. No, and I think part of the problem is a lot of these players are on Barcelona wages, and which means other clubs can't afford them. Um, that said, I'm not as negative uh, as, as other people are. Uh, I, I think, you know, when you when you go through this team, when you tell yourself that, you know, first of all, they weren't miles behind in, in La Liga. Ansu Fati is obviously uh, going to be fit at the start of next season. I think that's potentially uh, a game changer. Um, you know, th there's a couple of positions. You can look at this and say, oh, look, I'm stuck with Miral and Pjanic in, in perpetuity. Yeah, you probably are. And he had a poor season, but maybe with a different manager, he can contribute something, you know, be a squad player off the bench. If there's one thing that, uh, you know, this season's taught us is that you need a little bit of ingenuity. Barcelona aren't going to get out of this by, by, by spending, you know, 150, 200 million this summer. It's just not going to happen. Um, they need to get the wage bill under control. They need to trust in the kids. They've got Elijah, they've got Pedri, they've got a whole generation of guys coming through. And some of these older players, you know, you go to them and you if you can't get money for them, you say, look, you know, you want to be on the bench here or you want to go somewhere else and, and, and play and, you know, maybe take a little pay cut. And I think a bunch of players may well do that. Meanwhile, interesting stuff from the Atleti uh, president, Enrique Cerezo, coming out and saying, any team would be crazy about having Griezmann. He's a magnificent player and I hope to get him back, but I don't think Barcelona want to sell him. So people are coming up, well, how could maybe he get Griezmann back? Well, maybe you could send Jao Felix the other way, Jules. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a good idea. Although he also said that Joao Felix was going nowhere and that uh, he would have to adapt to, to, to Ancelo Simeone's style of play and, and to Atleti and then he would be a success at the club. So I think we can maybe forget about the, the, the direct swap between Griezmann and, and Felix. And to get Griezmann back to Atleti, it will cost him a lot of money, I think. Certainly, maybe not as much as he sold him for, but, but still a, 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 a quite a big amount. And I'm not sure if... if if Griezmann would like to go back in the first place either. I think in Barcelona he wants to stay there and succeed and, and be a success there, which hasn't really happened for him so far in the two seasons that he's been there. And I think that's a challenge on his hand. And, and I, I, would, I would think that he wants to fulfill that challenge first. So I, I don't really see this one happening. Briefly, Gab. Can you imagine if after Luis Suarez uh, going from the Camp Nou to uh, Atleti and possibly winning in the league this weekend, Barcelona say, oh, here, why don't you take Griezmann away as well uh, at a cup price? Uh, see how well that goes down. Uh, Gab, thank you very much. You can hear a lot more from Gab and Jules, of course, on the latest edition of their podcast. That drops on Thursday, as always. You can download that over on the website. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.